everybody, it's Jessica again, and I'm here to bring you a really awesome art slash science project. Um, this one is really cool. I totally stole it from Pinterest, and we are gonna try it out because I've never done it before. So, a couple things that you're gonna need first. A small tray, like a cookie tray like this, as long as it has a lip on it, because it's gotta hold water. A cup of water, some regular kitchen oil. It can be vegetable, canola, olive oil, you name it. As long as it's a liquid oil, it will work liquid watercolor or food coloring. A, I'm using a straw, but if you have like a pipette or an eyedropper, those work awesome. And a thicker paper, like a watercolor paper, cardstock, or even scrapbook paper. Regular printer paper doesn't always work because it will warp when it gets wet. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our tray up with some water. And I'm just gonna pour my water right on in. All right, just like that. And then I'm gonna add in a couple drops of the liquid watercolor or food coloring. Woo! And it's gonna be a nice bright purple there. All right. Now, honestly, I don't wanna stain my fingers, so I'm not gonna stick my finger in that. I'm gonna let it kind of do its own thing naturally. So next step, taking my oil and my straw, I'm just gonna stick my straw in, put my finger at the end to grab some of that oil and I'm gonna add in a couple drops. Now you guys can probably already see what's happening. Now you might be wondering, Jesse, why is the water moving? Well, water and oil don't get along, okay? They're like opposites of each other. Water likes to be with water and oil likes to be with oil. And so as you can see, when the oil hit the water, it made the water upset and it went whoosh and it ran away, okay? But what's really cool is what happens next. So after I put my oil on, I'm just gonna take my watercolor paper and I'm gonna dip it right inside. I'm just gonna kind of press gently. I don't wanna mess up the water tension too much. And then when I pull out, let's see what we get. Check that out, guys. So all the spaces where the purple is not at that's where the oil is sitting on top of the water. And so what it's doing is it's not allowing that water to get on that top of the paper. Now, I have a challenge for you guys. What happens if you use more than one color uh, food coloring or watercolor? Can you make it really marbled and cool? I'd love to see your guys' creations. I can't wait to see what how creative you guys are getting. So make sure you send them to us and I am so looking forward to it. All right guys, have fun, get creative with this project and be awesome. All right, Jesse out. Bye.